Silvio, and this is part one of Do It Yourself Hot Wire Styrofoam Cutter. If you are a Christmas village builder, and most probably you use a styrofoam to build the base and the infrastructure of your project, but also for the bridges and the street furniture, for example. And you quickly realized that cutting extruded styrofoam with the traditional cutting tools will simply make a mess all around the room. So, probably, the quickest solution you found was to buy this tool, this hot wire tool, that is absolutely well suited if you need to shape, carve or cut in half this piece of styrofoam. But, if you need to cut in half this other piece of styrofoam, it is absolutely and completely useless. So, uh, let's start easily building a smarter version of a styrofoam cutter suited for any shape of styrofoam. Hi guys, welcome to this new mini-series. Before getting serious with all the stuff I have here, on the uh, table on the plywood let me just introduce you my first version my old version of the hot wire uh, styrofoam cutter uh, it is the same i've used all along the uh, christmas village food tutorial uh, series and uh, uh, i will try to explain you why i need a new version by enumerating all the flaws and all the problems it has Let's start by the materials I've used to build it. Essentially, um, salvaged wood here, uh, all the structure, the main table here and uh, side is made from uh, wood. Then I used a bicycle hook I had in my cave here uh, as um, the main support for, uh, let me just adjust a little bit the camera there as the main support for the uh, hot uh, wire uh, and uh, mm, then I've used uh, alumi an aluminum uh, profile uh, there to make uh, the stopper for uh, the um, styrofoam in order to have the correct length, the correct uh, dimension of the piece I wanted to obtain for the, from the bigger piece of uh, styrofoam. Uh, the problems. The main problems for the stopper is that it is uh, practically impossible to uh, maintain it uh, uh, where I need it to be. There, I've uh, uh, strengthened to the max the nut there, uh, but uh, it still tends to slide uh, all over uh, the uh, surface of the table. And this is a big problem because if I needed to have uh, 20 centimeters um, length of uh, styrofoam, uh, and if I push too hard, <laughs> I will have the stopper sliding away and causing a problem in the cutting. How I did the stopper? I simply use uh, this aluminum profile then for sliding it all along the, mm, the table. I've used some roller blade ball bearings. Let me show you here. I have the mm, roller blade ball bearings that uh, help the slide smoothly all along the side of the table. Then uh, this uh, piece of aluminum there uh, will uh, simulate uh, uh, stopper. Um, for the uh, main profile there as when you tighten the, the nut there it tends to go up and um, um, and block uh, the, uh, the slider uh, to the main wood surface there but uh, as you have seen it's not perfect uh, no it's not uh, perfect at all Another problem is um, 
the cutting angle let me just adjust you a little bit the camera if i place the um these um these carpenter uh, square there uh, with the um the wire in contact to the base you can see uh, the amount of gap i will have there at the top of uh, at the top level of the cutable dimension there uh, it makes impossible to have a perfectly 90 degree cut a perfectly perpendicular cut and uh, sometimes i need to push the main um, the main uh, support there the bicycle hook of towards the up in order to to get a more 90 degrees cut but it is a very big problem uh, at the time i have used this bicycle hook that has a problem a dimension problem there it is very thin to the base and very fat there in the middle and um, so the diameter will vary all, all along this uh, portion of the um, of the hook there uh, the only thing i will uh, salvage from this uh, uh, version and i will use it uh, again for the new version is the electrical uh, cabling and uh, the wires i've had here it is a very oops you haven't seen it all the cabling all the wiring and all i've used in order to <laughs> get the wire hot i will use it again i will salvage everything you have here maybe i will change something and i will use it for the new version of the uh, hot wire styrofoam cutter i will start building in just a few minutes uh, oops sorry for the noise and um, so uh, let me just uh, remove uh, this old version from the table from the plywood uh, anyway uh, these all these uh, uh, things i will explain them later when the project <laughs> will be uh, well advanced so uh, let's start let me just have everything there um, not uh, useful removed from the table thanks so let's continue with the stuff i have here on the table on the plywood uh, raw materials i will use obviously some uh, wood there this time not salvaged for the base there and for the um, the side here and then also other piece of uh, wood then all is pine wood uh, having different uh, thickness but uh, i will essentially use a pine wood uh, extrusion aluminum extrusion i have uh, five of them they are called uh, t-slot 2020 why 2020 because simply because they are 20 millimeters each side and they are also called t-slot 2020 in uh, us uh, what they are used for normally uh, they are used to build 3d printers if you need to build or if you want to build yourself a 3d pin a 3d printer sorry you will use these uh, aluminum uh, profiles uh, very useful then i will need uh, a, a um, foot switch there uh, to uh, stop to switch on or switch off immediately uh, the uh, voltage um, because i need to be more precise in stopping the cutting where i need it and without the pedal here the the foot pedal i will need to uh, go towards the end of the table and uh, switch on or off the main uh, switch sorry and this will cause a problem of dimensioning a problem of overcutting or undercutting the piece of styrofoam i was um, cutting then i will use this uh, threaded road it is an m5 threaded road and 
I know uh, now I'm introducing everything and it will surely not be clear uh, how I will use all of this but in just a few minutes uh, things will be uh, clarified at least uh, for the beginning and all the uh, all the metal screws I will use for this project will also be M5 threaded screws not for the wood of course but for the metal for joining the uh, aluminum extrusion together and everything else the role of the um, of these uh, uh, aluminum uh, extrusion simply i would imagine that no not imagine practically this is the surface of the cutting uh, the new cutting table and i will use them from each side there one there and one here and uh, i will uh, use them as the guide for another sorry for another um, extrusion at 90 degrees with the those uh, to the side to make the new uh, stopper for the uh, for the styrofoam and i will explain it to you later and this will be i think this will be very very stable uh, also, as always, I just uh, think about this project, I didn't experience it. Then I will use, of course, my carpenter square there, and I will use this uh, mm, little uh, mitre uh, box here, mitre uh, tool there, to cut uh, uh, everything, to cut uh, the aluminum uh, aluminum um, profile sorry and i will use that because i will need to cut them precisely so i will use uh, uh, an end so then i will use obviously some uh, wires and everything else here i have uh, the uh, t-nuts i will use to fix everything to the uh, main aluminum profile there i will slide them there then i will use uh, some m5 uh, screws there to uh, screw everything to the main uh, structure there then i will use also all the stuff i have in here uh, nichrome wire of course uh, it's uh, some uh, uh, wire with uh, <laughs> chrome and uh, nickel inside and it, it is uh, well suited for conducting electricity so it will become very hot due to the fact that every time electricity um, go through a wire it generates uh, friction so it becomes very hot it is basic uh, physics of electricity sorry then i will use some uh, uh, terminal block for the wires uh, some uh, aluminum and uh, steel uh, brackets there some other 90 degrees brackets some m5 uh, handles there i know it's confusing right now but it will be clear in just uh, a few sections and a spring of course some other m5 uh, nut there this is nothing else than a very long uh, M5 nut, some uh, profile angles there. Um, then I will also use uh, these two components, uh, polyurethanic uh, resin. Uh, to do what? I will explain you later. I will also need these uh, uh, black pigment in order to mm, transform the uh, polyurethanic resin uh, in black otherwise it's it is uh, gray and not uh, well watchable and the polyurethanic uh, resin is the same resin as the epoxy resin used in jewelry or everywhere on um, amazon on ebay you can find um, epoxy resin and it is a resin very clear very transparent this one polyurethanic uh, uh, 
resin, the same kind of resin, but it is uh, not transparent, not crystal clear, it is uh, um, grayish. Then I will need to use this chocolate mold, this praline chocolate mold. Uh, crazy, yes, it sounds crazy and it is uh, crazy, but it will be um, clear maybe in two or three uh, parts of this um, tutorial of this new mini series some wood i will use for testing and for showing you something then i will use some tools to um, screw down every uh, m5 screws there i have m5 screws here a lot of m5 screws then i have uh, a lot of uh, uh, wood screws there different size of wood uh, screw then a uh, countersink there and uh, some more uh, countersink some uh, drill bits there some uh, screwing tools there oops this uh, doesn't need to be there then the tools i ate when someone uh, post a uh, tutorial, post a video and uh, saying uh, to you hey let's go, let's uh, have this built and uh, come on, uh, come with me in my million dollar uh, tools labo lab and uh, with all the tools I have, I have a gigantic lab filled with uh, all kinds of tools, all kinds of expensive tools, no I will build this new styrofoam uh, at a wire cutter with uh, simply the tools you have here. Uh, rotary tools, of course, a Dremel if you prefer, uh, a standard drill there, and then uh, a metal hand saw there, and a jigsaw, of course, uh, basic, uh, a simple jigsaw for cutting uh, the wood and uh, for and if I need it to be more uh, accurate, more uh, precise, I will use this uh, woodwork uh, saw here. And that's all, I think. Yes, this one is not suited for the project and I will remove it in just a few um, minutes. So uh, here is everything <laughs> I will need, uh, uh, oh, of course uh, I don't have uh, here on the plywood on the table uh, the electrical wires and the electrical parts I will need except for the uh, pedal switch there, the foot switch sorry but uh, I, you have just seen all the components and now <laughs> in order to uh, take off all the confusing stuff you have just seen uh, I will start uh, with uh, the uh, building and I will start obviously from the uh, base uh, let me just remove uh, some of the stuff I have here then I will get serious let's start with the base then we'll proceed step after step the base 30 by 60 centimeters, 30 by 60 centimeters, or 12 by 24 inches. The thickness is 1.8 centimeters, or 0 0.7 inches. This will be the base. Using it simply as it is, and putting uh, uh, to the side the aluminum uh, profile there that I will use as a guide, uh, it is a 2020 slot, so 20 milli millimeters by 20 millimeters. It is a perfectly square. Oops, sorry. Let's look there. It is a square there. So uh, I was saying 20 by 20. Uh, it is thicker than the base. Then each time you slide the styrofoam towards the uh, guide there, it will be stuck there preventing it to slide correctly and cutting uh, all the length you need to cut. So the uh, base need always to be one or two mil millimeters um, higher, thicker than the, um, than the base. Uh, how I will do it? I will do it simply by adding to the uh, base to the main base 
this uh, very thin piece of uh, wood there it is only a four mil uh, thick uh, wood very fragile I know but I will use as a support to the base in this case uh, 1.8 plus uh, 4 mil uh, 1.8 centimeters so 18 mil uh, pl plus 4 mil uh, equals 22 millimeters so 2 millimeters or less uh, thicker than the um, the uh, mm, than the T slot there than the uh, lateral uh, aluminum uh, profile there extrusion sorry not profile so in this case sliding the uh, styrofoam uh, uh, all along the surface uh, will not be stuck uh, when it reach the uh, end of the surface because it is uh, uh, thicker than the uh, aluminum uh, extrusion uh, so I will need to fix this piece having exactly the same measurements 30 centimeters by 60 centimeters 12 inches by 24 inches to the main uh, base there and i will uh, need some screws to do it i don't think i will glue it simply because it is too thin uh, mm, too thin and it won't be sweated so i will use uh, some uh, wood screw let me just explain one thing with the wood screw let me just use this as an example let me just bring a couple of wood screw there let me just use no these uh, a couple of this one so very quickly let me show you the wrong way and the correct way to screw down a screw on into the wood let me just bring this screw there and i will immediately screw it down with the drill there okay done you can see that uh, the head of the screw is uh, coming out from the surface this is because uh, the the screw has a cone head it is cone headed and so uh, the screw can go um, towards can go can, cannot go further towards the surface of the wood causing this to be some uh, sort of problem when sliding uh, the wood on top of another surface it will scratch the other surface but instead if you first a countersink the hole because of course we you will need firstly to have a, a little hole before uh, screwing down the screw and let's imagine you have the hole there and that I will countersink the hole a little bit right there like like that now I remove the countersink I instead and I will place the screw in the countersink hole there then I will screw it down another time okay this time the uh, head is completely under the surface so it will cause no more problems no more scratching on another surface this is the correct way to screw down uh, screw into the wood uh, quickly uh, explain it let's just remove the screw there and there and let's start with the surface uh, by adding as i told you before <coughs> this thinner piece of wood there I don't want to go over <coughs> the edges so I will simply use some uh, quick release clamps there I will use those uh, quick release clamps in order to maintain fixed end in position 
the let me just no I prefer this other side okay I will use it there let me just place it correctly I will surely need I will surely have to uh, sand it sand the wood lately because it isn't perfectly aligned and they haven't they had the two pieces of wood haven't uh, have not the same exact dimensions I've made I've asked it to cut them when I bought them but obviously they didn't do the same cutting for both the piece of wood there so first one here and I will use the clamp to sorry here there now okay that is fixed there let me just use the same clamp here another one okay let me just fix it a little bit better here and uh, let's say I will place another one in the middle right there not this way this other way okay yes I will need uh, some adjustments yes I will need to adjust and to sand the wood a little bit of course now uh, I will need to screw the two pieces together so now I will try to do it the correct way let me just use another quick clamp there okay now uh, let's have some measurements let's say that I will have one in the corner there one in the corner there let me just adjust a little bit the camera there one here in the corner three by three three by one there one and a half there okay then three by one and a half here three by one and a half there okay the same thing from this side I will use the shortest the shortest screw there those are the shortest screw there now I will proceed as told you very carefully and I will use this drill bit there okay this one So 
let's perform a first hole there okay another one here now I will countersink each hole Okay, now Now, let's have the first screw down there inside the doll I've drilled before Now let's check. Okay, okay, okay. This will be the main surface. I didn't get a true from the down, so it's well treated there. Let's have a check. A check if I need to file something there. If I need to send something maybe yes there yes i will need let's check with the yes i need to send okay and i will use the rotatory tool the dremel if you prefer to uh, sand the border This is done now I will need to but uh, I don't think yeah, no come on let's continue a little bit I will need to cut uh, two pieces of 60 centimeters for the side there I will prepare them for next time 
because I will go there with 60 centimeters. Uh, I will cut two pieces of 60 centimeters there. I don't like the surface there. I just need to sand it a little bit. Okay. Better. Now, uh, as I was saying, I will need uh, two pieces of uh, um, aluminum uh, extrusion si having a length of uh, 60 centimeters or 24 inches if you prefer. Uh, one from the, for this side and one for the other side. Uh, so I will end uh, this. Uh, video by showing how to cut by hand this piece of uh, um, aluminum. So let's remove uh, the surface there. Now let's move it there. I will clamp this to the main surface. Uh, yes, let's clamp it there. one here and one there okay now I just hope that uh, I will do it in time let's measure 60 centimeters let's measure 60 centimeters uh, so I will mark 60 centimeters from there Sixty there, sixty there, okay, sixty centimeters. Let's check from this side if it is 40. It's a little more than one meter. I've ordered them uh, from, yes, it's uh, 100 centimeters, 101. One meter and one centimeters. So let's place it there. Let's move the camera a little bit. There. Now I use some more clamps to block it there. One here and one there. Good. Fix it there. Then I grab my metal saw there. Let me just tighten it a little more right there. Now, sorry again for the noise. I will go slowly this time because I need it perfectly uh, at 90 degrees. And the secret here is to go very slowly. Uh, let's go. So guys, 
first one is done let's check it I don't think I did a bad job there just need some sanding so first one is done <clears throat> and let's check the length okay the length is there okay first one let's go with the second one So, second one, two is done. Okay, let's check. okay and that's done then I will have this one place it right there of course I will need to cut it down in order to have the slider there and it will slide along the I have some residual of plastic there so it will slide like right there and I will show you how I will fix everything in place so uh, next time because i think it's enough for today uh, for the first part at least uh, next uh, time uh, next time i will continue with the base in order to fix uh, the t um, the 2020 t slot uh, to the side there and i will show you how to use for the first time uh, the uh, t nuts there and then I will try to fix uh, uh, the sliding tool there, the stopper there. Then I will also use another uh, aluminum uh, extrusion to make the 90 degrees support there. For now, it's all guys. Thank you. I will see you for the outro. Every Christmas village builder is some sort of a craftsman and each craftsman, if needed, is able to build his own tools. At this point, you might think that building a not wire styrofoam cutter is extremely difficult, but in fact, it is exactly the opposite. It's just a question of method and time and it will become obvious with the next parts of this mini-series. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.